So ATA-188 uh, is an allogeneic EBV-specific T cell. So these are actually uh, uh, cells from a normal healthy volunteer that are stimulated to recognize Epstein-Barr virus, which is being expressed by abnormal cells. And these, this product is being developed for the sake of treating patients with progress, progressive multiple sclerosis. In point of fact, there's quite a scientific literature linking chronic Epstein-Barr virus infection with the onset of multiple sclerosis. So we actually find that nearly 100% of patients who have multiple sclerosis are actually EBV positive. We can also find evidence of EBV positive uh, B cells in the brains of patients with multiple sclerosis. And there's a lot of immunology research that actually shows that the T cell responses of patients with MS, the antibody responses of patients with MS are quite abnormal in the concept concept of Epstein-Barr virus. But long and short, we did put this product uh, into the clinic with our academic collaborators, and we've been treating patients in this phase one clinical trial with uh, doses of these EBV T cells. And here we're, we're trying to help patients that have the most advanced form of multiple sclerosis, what are, what's called progressive MS, or primary, which can be primary progressive, or secondary progressive MS. It's really the highest unmet uh, medical need area of multiple sclerosis. There are very few treatment options available. And so we started this clinical trial and we've been investigating increasing doses of these cells in different patient populations with progressive MS to find out which are the safe and also potentially effective doses of, uh, of these EBV allogeneic T cells. I think we're really the leaders with our academic collaborators in this concept of using cell therapy for the sake of treating multiple sclerosis. So this is really out of the box thinking, if, if you will. Uh, traditional therapies against uh, multiple sclerosis are either small molecule inhibitors, pills, or it can be antibody therapies so like some of the anti-CD20 antibodies and so forth. But when you think about giving a living uh, product to a patient um, that actually can go and um, and target these abnormal B cells that are infected with EBV. That really is a unique and different perspective. And I think our pioneering work also targeting Epstein-Barr virus is quite uh, unique. And there are more and more groups in, in researching Epstein-Barr virus and, and its implications in multiple sclerosis. We've got uh, collaborators like uh, Larry Steinman at Stanford and Ar Amit Barrow, uh, who's on the East Coast, and a number of other investigators in Australia, Dr. Pender and so forth. That, But there is increasing interest uh, in this therapeutic approach. But I will say that we really do represent uh, leaders in this field, not only in the targeting of EBV in MS, but also the concept of using a cellular therapy to try to help these patients.